Decisions flipping decisions. What do I get? Strawberry, chocolate, mint, Nutella, passion fruit, pistachio, beetroot, beetroot, dark chocolate, cookies and cream, banana, brown stuff, green stuff. Gosh, it's just way too many choices. I know I should never have come to Italy just to get a gelato. Uh, yeah, hey, babe, just fill me up 20 of those cups full of everything. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't notice you there. Yes, yeah, so I've got a little bit of explaining to do. Let's just uh, take a walk out. So, oh, it's very, hold on a second. I'll just get myself some frozen ice and some cake. Yeah, that, 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 all, all of them. So yeah, I've been in Italy for a little while. I uh, originally came here just to get myself a gelato and well, I ended up staying and uh, <laughs> I ate everything. Oh man, I can't even see my dick anymore. All right, you know what? I've, I've had enough of being morbidly ob ob obese. <laughs> <laughs> Overweight and obese. I have made the decision just right now, like five seconds ago, to do something about it. I am going to run down this sloped road for the next 15 minutes, and then I'm going to head down to the beach and uh, and do a little bit of cardiovascular activity. Now, they always say that boxing will get you ripped like nothing else. The following Thursday. All right, well, it's been a long, hard road, but... Uh... GigaChad47 is on the scene. Hey there, you manly man, you. Oh, <laughs> thank you for noticing. You know, these uh, these facial curve thingies don't come easily. It took a whole bunch of running up and down that sloped road and buffing people in the face on the beach. Anyway, yeah, look at that chiseled jawline, that chin, that albatross-like nose, those puckered up lips. It's, yeah, all right, I'm not gonna lie, it's all the steroids. Diana never said anything about the HDH turning your head into a Lego block, but whatever. Oh. Seems like a story mission is taking place right here. Oh, I have an idea. I am going to come here and give this lady a whole bunch of rubber duckies. Because <laughs> for some reason, I've got a hundred of them in my inventory. I don't know where they all came from. Don't ask so many questions. Gosh, darn it. I'm curious to see. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's picking one up. Oh, I crashed the game. <laughs> well, I should have seen that coming. But I am a man that believes in never giving up. So I'm going to try it all over again, except this time around, instead of dropping like 70 rubber duckies, I guess I'll drop like, I don't know, 20? I'll get nice and far away so I could witness the destruction and uh, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what just, what just happened? That was, that was easily the greatest team rocket blasting off again moment since the original series of Pokemon. All right, if you'll excuse me for a moment, we're going to do this again, but this time I'm just gonna place them in a circular fashion around you so that you go upwards instead of going directly over the building. Hey, don't forget your stuff. <laughs> my stuff, you mean all of my rubber duckies. Now we'll just run over here so we've got a nice unobstructed view of the uh, the space launch in three, two, one. <laughs> I think we sent her to the sun on accident. Gosh darn it, she was meant to go to the moon, flip. What are we gonna do now? Are we in danger? Well, you know, <laughs> that depends. What is danger? That's kind of a relative term, isn't it? <laughs> she broke the window. Oh gosh. All right, let's give this another go. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. And now for my final trick, you know, before the actual video. <laughs> <laughs> Before the video actually commences, uh, I'm gonna come over here and resuscitate this dead man. Observe. So we'll just place a couple down. We don't want to put too many, just a few. Now, uh, let's just get far enough away back so we don't blow ourselves up in the process. And, uh, <clears throat> three, two, one. <laughs> what goes up must come down, right? They, they're gonna return, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that they're not. All right, so anyway, you've probably figured out what this video is all about. It's about my chiseled jawline <laughs> and a ridiculous amount of explosives. Now, if you'd kindly follow me into my apartment, I'd like to unveil my latest invention, the explosive golf ball. And whilst this is only the prototype, I did have a whole bunch mass produced and shipped in from some dingy little sweatshop in China that cost me practically nothing to make. You can bet your sweet little tukus that I'll be using it for a whole bunch of interesting activities like laying them down on a road to create a trail of golf balls <laughs> which i will then eventually detonate and revel in the destruction that it causes look at this look at all of the golf balls man now they do kind of disappear but they're not actually disappeared it's just that my eyesight's not particularly good short-sighted you see anyway i think if i throw one like right about there then uh, let's see what happens <laughs> oh, i guess that lady's not coming oh no there she is she's fine she's fine 
Nothing but a little golfing accident. Now, I've come back to see my best friend, uh, Mrs. Waiter Lady, and I'm just going to give her a whole bunch of golf balls because I heard that she really, really likes golf. Now, considering I crashed the crap out of the game with 50 ducks earlier, I'm not feeling too hopeful about this, but it's not going to stop me from trying, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's just lob it right over there, right onto the other golf balls, and booyah! <laughs> <laughs> what? We killed a guy in the balcony. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, this is Sapienza, and uh, that guy's lying on the floor like a wi- All right, you're asking for it, aren't you? So you think that's a good trick? Well, let me show you an even better trick. You're going to love this, promise. Never disappoints. Never. Excuse me. Looks what? Like you dropped something. Oh, did I? Uh, you sure? I don't think it's mine. Is it? I don't think so. Nah. You ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the greatest trick of the century guaranteed to blow your- <laughs> <laughs> to blow your socks off. <laughs> it turns into a cluster bomb. Oh, that's great. Love it. All right, so I'm just going to run up to the top floor of the building which I live in. I'm going to ring this gentleman's butter and I'm going to wait like the true gentleman that I am. Come on. All right, yep. The kitchen assistant outfit. Exactly what I need. Wonderful. I am ready to go into the mansion and cook some spaghetti. Anyway, I'll just drop down here and I'll let myself into the kitchen. It's time to cook up some spaghetti. Bald, barcoded assassin man style. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm the new kitchen hand. I think you dropped your coffee. Wow, look at all the kebabs there. <laughs> People love kebabs in Italy. Who would have thunk it? Now, I may or may not have thought this through very well. Hold on. What happened to my Giga Chad head? <laughs> what happened to my features? Oh, no. I stopped I stopped doing the exercises that make the jaw really big and stuff. It's fine, though. It's fine. I'll worry about that later. There are more pressing matters at hand, like uh, my master plan involving golf balls. You see, Silvio Caruso loves to whack around a couple of balls with his big old shtick, and I thought that maybe, you know, I, I could put... put a ball down for him, a ball full of gunpowder. And because I'm a raving lunatic, I thought that instead of putting down one, <laughs> I could put down a couple of hundred. Well, a hundred. I do wonder though if I can do that dressed as a, a whatever this guy is. Hey, mister. What? You, know? yeah. you got something to say? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm a gardener now and I believe And I believe that uh, gardeners are allowed to play with balls in the garden, as long as other gardeners don't look in his direction. Now, I'll place one inside of the golf ball basket, and you see, putting the explosive one directly on top. And then what I'm going to do, and hope that old Sylvia Caruso doesn't notice, is I'm going to put an ample number of golf balls just around here. You know, I might even put some directly on top of the tee, you know, just to make sure we get that extra explosive action going on. So you just put a couple down here and... Uh, we wait and see what happens. <laughs> I feel like I'm laying eggs from my palm. And uh, all we got to hope for now is that when Silvio returns, he doesn't notice. That's that's the that's the key. Several song-filled hours later. All right, looks like Sylvia's coming back. Nothing sus, Sylvia. Definitely not a hundred golf balls on your tee. <laughs> he hasn't noticed. What a flipping dumb, dumb, stupid head. Come on, mate, just get your golf club. <laughs> so dumb. All right, there we go. We'll just chill here for a second. Wait for it. It's going to be epic. He's looking at the balls. He's like, <laughs> which one do I choose? The answer to that, Sylvia, is any of them. <laughs> Target down. Oh, no. Look what we did to the golf course. Oh, that's terrible. That That's a pretty big divot. Now, uh, I've got another great idea. My other great idea involves me running up this staircase into this apartment block to the very top floor where I'll get onto a balcony with a door that I can't open, which is perfectly okay because I do have 101 golf balls in my pocket and I'll just throw one at the door right there. Boom, doors open and now I've got access to a gun, which I'll probably never need. A key card, which will most certainly come in handy. And out here in the uh, washing basket, I've got myself a mansion security outfit. Yes, I did have to lose my Giga Chad features, but I guess it's a small price to pay to wear this awesome... <laughs> orange and beige shirt. So what I'm going to do now is waltz right into the Mafia's secret castle. <laughs> the secret. It's a big secret. Nobody knows this thing exists. And then what I'm going to do is create a little bit of a horror story for Sylvia Caruso, who thinks his dead mum's still alive and haunts him inside of the house. Keeps freaking out and stuff. So, uh, 
you know, I, I'm just I'm going to perform an exorcism. That's what I'm going to do, an exorcism. Now, it has been a very, 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 very long time since I've played this mission. So admittedly, I don't really remember how the mission stories work and I'm too lazy to look them up. But I'm pretty sure I need to play a prank on Sylvia inside of his dead mum's bedroom by making him think that she's like, I don't know, ringing the bell or something. Huh. All right, so this does. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Pretty sure there's a gramophone somewhere, isn't there? You know what happened? Yep, slipped. <laughs> so I just waltz over here. I slap on the old gramophone. Bleep, 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 bleep. And now, uh, I guess I just wait for Sylvia to come in and freak out. Mother's sacred record. How is this possible? Now that that's done, I'm pretty sure I need to activate the chairlift while nobody's looking. Pretty sure I'm in the clear. All right, let's turn that on. And uh, this guy's superhuman <laughs> hearing should lead him to the chairlift going up on its own. Obviously, there's no other explanation, you know, than it being a ghost. Now, for the cherry on top, I slip into the old bedroom, I ring the ding-a-ling, and uh, this should get him in here, I believe. Yep, here we go. Obviously, I should have done this before I let him to the door, but because I'm an absolute moron, I, I kind of <laughs> I left it to the last minute. But that's fine. That's okay. Just put a couple of these here, you know. Hopefully he doesn't notice them. I don't know why he would. They're very well hidden, very discreet. There really is no safe location for me in this scenario. He, uh, he hasn't noticed all of the bombs on the door, which is good. Oh, he's noticed. He's noticed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Silvio. Oh, Silvio. <laughs> Silvio, no. He's twitching. Somebody come in here immediately. He's. I think he might still be alive. I think there might still be a chance to... Somebody, quick. Send a doctor. Oh no, he, he's gone. He's not with us anymore. We lost him. We, lo we lost him. The 30 bricks of C4, they, they did it. Man, I'm here now and it anyway, I've got another great idea. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to remember where these people leave their emetic rat. Po oh yes, of course. <laughs> where else would you leave the emetic rat poison? But in the middle of the kitchen. Well, I guess I'll just fill this pot full of the poison. Nobody's going to notice. Then I'll go outside and ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. It's time for your spaghetti, Sylvia. Terrible. Just awful. Oh no, I think he doesn't like it. Maybe it's the special ingredient that we added in the kitchen. All right, here he comes. Don't worry, Sylvia. Get it all out over, over the edge of this rocky cliff right here. And just get out all the evil. All right, so we'll place one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. We place them everywhere. Keep on spewing, Sylvia. We've got, we've got a lot of work here to do. Don't, don't stop. Oh, where, where is Sylvia? Sylvia, where? <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, where are you? Hold on, Sylvia. Don't go anywhere. Don't on. We're doing this all over again. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't run. Don't run. <laughs> now, because old Francesca DeSantis is inside of the mansion, I think this gives me the perfect opportunity to pull my next, <laughs> my next great trick, which involves me taking the outfit of this guy right here. Now, I feel like you're going to pose a little bit of a problem to that, aren't you, old chap? He's dead. Don't worry about it. Don't fall. I need your clothes and your cell phone. And I probably shouldn't have kicked him down into the middle of the courtyard. But, you know, things happen and stuff. All right, now all I need to do is give a call to uh, Francesca DeSantis and invite her to the rendezvous point for a little bit of sh <laughs> sexy time. Obviously, such a level of romance is achieved with uh, lots of, of Semtex demolition blocks stuck to the wall. Oh, she nearly here. All right, come on, come on. We've got, we got, got to put down another 20 at least. <laughs> I have been waiting for you. Oh, welcome to Chateau Sexy. Oh no, she she left. Wait, hold on. Come back. All right, she's coming back. She's coming back. All right, here we go. Is she like blind or what? What's happening here? <laughs> You're going to pick them all off one by... Oh, he defused the bomb. What a doodle. Oh no, no, another guy's coming to take another one. All right, she's on the move. She's going towards the door to take one off herself. And I'm going to stand up and... <laughs> Oh no! Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I don't think we're ever gonna see her again. She's gone. And now, down in the secret underground bio laboratory is where I'm going to pull off my greatest stunt of all time, and probably the stunt that's going to end this video in an explosive fashion. So I was thinking that if I fill this airplane with explosives and then cause some catastrophic event where Silvio tries to escape. <laughs> what? Oh no, hold on, I take it back. <laughs> we can stick them on the wings. Excellent. That is actually brilliant. Matter of fact, I think this might be the greatest thing that I've ever done in any of the Hitman games ever. Now I'll stick a couple on the, do <laughs> on the door as well. This is gonna crash the game. Now to create a kerfuffle loud enough to scare Silvio into trying to escape, a couple of explosive golf balls should do the trick. 
Three explosive golf balls. Don't know who, where, how did that happen? It wasn't me. One debt to society later. All right, here we go. Target escaping. All right, Silvio, you enjoy your flight and you <laughs> and your Semtex demolition block. It's a, it's literally, it's it's a flying Semtex demolition block. All right, Silvio, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> They're levitating in midair. All right, we'll get a nice clean view of what. I don't think we're gonna be able to see. All right, fine. Oh my goodness. All right, so this time around, I'm going to head to the top of the ruins where hopefully I can get a nice, clear, unobstructed view of the airplane trying to lift off. All right, here he comes. <laughs> oh, oh, he's speeding up. He's speeding up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three, two, one. See you, Silvio. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, that was so good. Well, this is uh, this has been Hitman. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for watching.